Let's talk about the three core machine learning tasks, classification, regression, and clustering. Now these are the three tasks that you'll want to focus on when you're just starting to learn data science. Not only are these three tasks very common things that you'll need to do with data science, but these projects will also help you develop the skills and knowledge that you need in order to perform the more complex and specialized aspects of machine learning. Let's get started. Let's imagine that you were a bank and you had some historical information available to you about people who had taken out loans from your bank, as well as whether or not those loans were eventually repaid. Now using this data set, you could train a machine learning model to predict whether or not a future person is likely to repay the loan that they are requesting from you. This is an example of a classification problem. We are predicting whether or not somebody might repay that loan. Now, in this case, we're predicting a categorical label. The loan will either be repaid or it won't be. We're trying to predict which of the two it is. Now, in order to calculate that, we need to look at some features. And these are things that influence whether that prediction should be a yes or a no. In this case, the features might be the term of the loan, the amount being requested, uh, the person's annual income, things like that. Another example of classification is a machine learning experiment I did last year around the movie Die Hard. Now, my wife and I were debating if Die Hard should be considered a Christmas movie. To solve this debate, I built a machine learning model around historical movie information that included both Christmas movies and non-Christmas movies. Now, once this model was trained, I asked it if Die Hard should be considered a Christmas movie or not, and it was able to predict the expected value of the Is Christmas Movie label for that movie. By the way, if you're curious about this project, I have a number of videos on this channel about them, so please check those out. Both Die Hard and the loan approval models are examples of binary classification, where something is either going to be one of two different possibilities. Other examples might involve uh, if a, predicting if a customer or employee is going to leave your organization, or if a mole is cancerous or benign. Now, sometimes you want to predict if something is one of several different possibilities. When there are three or more possibilities, we call this a multi-class classification problem. For example, if you had an unreleased video game and you wanted to predict the Entertainment Software Rating Board, or ESRB, rating for that game's content, you could build a classification model and train it on historical games their content and the rating that they were ultimately given by the ESRB rating board. This trained model would then be able to predict ESRB ratings for video games that had yet to be released with some degree of probability of confidence. Now using this, I could determine how likely a new video game was to be given any specific rating given the historical ratings of past video games. Next we have regression models. If classification is all about predicting a single categorical label, then regression is all about predicting a single numerical label instead. In other words, we're no longer predicting what something is, but instead we're predicting how much of something we should expect. For example, you could train a regression model to predict how much a used car would sell for given historical data on recent used car sales in your area. A regression experiment I did in the past involved predicting the number of minutes I'd need to spend in the morning scraping off my car's windshield. So I built a data set over some time by automatically tracking overnight weather predictions and then manually recording the number of minutes I spent in the morning scraping off my car. By the end of the winter, I had a model that was trained sufficiently to be able to predict how much time I'd need to budget for scraping my car's windshield in the morning. Of course, by the next winter we had moved and I had a garage and my model was now worthless, but this was still a great way of learning data science and playing around with regression experiments. Finally, we reach clustering. Clustering is the process of determining groups of data points based on their similarities. Clustering is sometimes used for things like segmenting different types of users for marketing strategies based on their usage habits. Clustering is also used for geographical data. If I wanted to host five different events across the world to meet each person who watches this video in a given year, a clustering algorithm could determine the optimal placement of each one of those events. Now, some of you would still need to travel farther than others, but on average, uh, clustering would help us find the optimal traveling distance for every person. So these are the three basic types of machine learning, classification, regression, and clustering. If you've used these before or are thinking about using these in the future, leave me a comment and let me know what interesting experiments that you've run or are planning and which one of these tasks is your favorite to work with. Until next time, happy coding and keep learning. Thank <laughs> you.